Hi everyone, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mech Engineering Knowledge Junction. Today we are going to do the another late operations in Master Camp 2018 and this will be the another tutorial in the series of tutorials of uh, late operations in Master Camp 2018. So before I starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and press the bell icon to get all the updates from my channel. If you have any doubt or query related to this tutorial, you may ask in the comment section. And don't forget to share your valuable comments and suggestions in the comment section. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, open Mastercam 2018. Now go to file, click on configuration and then go here and in this box and select the second option that is my configuration matrix to give the dimension in mm now click ok now for drawing any profile you will have to go to wireframe so you can clearly see that we have to draw the half portion of this profile and i will rotate or revolve that profile to get the full portion so and note that from this first of all i am going to consider this as origin and we are going to draw uh, the half portion on the left side of the origin so first of all i am going to go from this point to this point and then this to this and after this to this and this to this and then this to this and the last one from this to this so go here and select line in point after some time you will get a tree in the left side now click here and go vertically upward and give the length as 25 mm and then press enter okay now you have to go in the left side direction in horizontal way so now click and then release here and give the length as 20 and then press enter now you will have to go in vertical direction up to 10 mm so click here and release here and then give the value here as 10 and then press enter and now we'll have to go from this point to this point uh, for incline line we will always have to find the coordinate of the in point so the coordinate of this in point is 25 comma 40 so go here and just click at this point and go to plus x y z plus x y z and uh, type the coordinate that is minus 25 comma 40 and then press enter okay so we have come to this point now we have to go from this point to this point and the distance will be 80 so click at this point and go in horizontal direction in leftward direction and release here and give the hair 80 mm length and then press enter now we have to join this point to this line and go here and give the distance as 40 and then press enter now we have to join this with this point and now click ok thus we have drawn our profile now right click the mouse button now and go in isometric view and zoom in and now go to solids and then click on revolve and now click on chain and then select the first chain and the last chain and now click ok now select the axis about which we want to revolve so i'm going to just select this of six this axis and now click ok for being in solid click on outline set it so this is our actual profile now right click the mouse button and then go to top view and also go to wireframe view for selecting the profile easily while machining operation now select the machine type so click on machine since this is the lathe problem click on lathe and then click on default now we are going to generate tool path for facing and then roughing and after that finishing first of all we have to create a stock for this profile so that click on this plus sign and then click on stock setup now click on this property and then click on make from two point and then carefully select the first point and the last point now tick at use margins and give the 
outer diameter margin is 5 mm right margin is 5 mm and the left margin is 20 mm now click ok now again click on this property and tick from stock and give here 10 i am going to give, take 10 out of 20 from the left margin and this 10 is going to be the grip length now click ok again click ok so you can clearly see that our stock setup has been done so this is the right margin of 5 mm this is the outer diameter margin of 5 mm and this is the left margin of 20 mm out of which there is 10 mm in grip length and there is a 10 mm gap in uh, check and the tool this is done to avoid the tool collision with the check now we have to perform the various operation first of all i am going to perform the facing for that click on face and now select the tool for facing bring down the arrow and you can see that outer finish uh, again bring narrow and, it, and now you can you have to select a rough face right and again go to face parameter and give the value here at 0 0.5 and and here as 10 i am going to remove 0 0.5 mm in one steps so for removing 10 mm we have to perform and removing 5 mm we have to perform 10 steps now click ok so you can clearly see that the tool part is generated for facing operation now we have to perform rough for that click on rough then click on chain and then carefully select the first chain and the last chain and now click ok now select the this tool for all uh, rough operation and go to rough parameter and go here that is stock recognition from this box select use stock for outer boundary and then click ok so you can clearly see that the tool path is generated for roughing operation now we have to perform the last operation for this job that is finish for that click on finish now click on chain and carefully select the first chain and then the last chain and now click ok now select the tool for facing i am going to select outer dimension finish right selecting this and double click at this go to tool setup and go here and ho at home position and click on select and then carefully select the home position of the tool and you can clearly see that this is zero zero now click ok now click ok all again and go to finish parameter and give the finish step of right 0 0.25 because we are going to remove a small material for looking our object better finish and going to perform four steps now click ok so you can clearly see that the this bullet strip is the tool part for finish operation so we have generated tool part for face rough and finish now we have to combine all these operations for that click on tool path group one to combine all the operation now go to go here and regenerate uh, click on regenerate all selected operation you can clearly see that all operations are again regenerated now go here and click on verify selected operations then you are going to get a another interface in which we are going to see the animation of operations that is face rough and finish it will take some time to open the second window so our second window has opened now right click the mouse button and go to isometric view and zoom it little bit okay and go to verify and click on color loop to give different color to the different operation now we have to click on play button to see the actual operation so this is the facing operation and now this is roughing operation is going on and then this is the last operation of finishing so you can clearly see that finishing operation is going on and the finishing operation is completed so this is the actual object that we get from a stock according to our given profile so thank you for watching please like and share this video as much as you can and also subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the updates from my channel so thank you have a nice day bye bye